Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Forsick MRI, and this is a 34-year-old female with complaints of right-sided hip and right groin pain for several weeks. She went to her orthopedic surgeon, and they thought, based on the clinical examination, that she had a labral tear, so they did an MRI to look for that. And on this MRI, we see the right hip here. This little dark area is the right hip labrum, this little triangle, and she did not have a labral tear. Her femoral head, which is this round ball, looked normal, nice and round. It sits in this cup called the acetabulum. It looked normal. There was no joint space narrowing or spurring or erosion. On this view here, we see the femoral head. We see the neck here. We see the bony protuberance. This is a lesser trochanter looking normal. All her muscles look good, but we did notice this little area of darkness in the femoral neck. So in this view, marrow should be bright. Fatty marrow is bright, any fat is bright. And right here, we don't see that normal bright fat, so this is marrow edema. And on this view, it's just the opposite. There's an area of brightness. Marrow should be dark. All the fatty marrow is suppressed, making it dark. And in this area, we see area, uh, we have high signal, we call hyperintense signal. And there's a little dark band right at the epicenter. So this is a small right hip stress fracture involving the femoral neck. And this is a common location for a stress fracture of the hip. And you see a little transverse band of bone sclerosis or cortical compaction, and then that surrounding halo of marrow edema. So a right hip stress fracture of the femoral neck and no other findings, and then specifically no hip labral tear like they thought clinically. And that's it. Thank you very much.